Hello everybody, in this video I have a crafty and scrapbook haul to share with you. I don't do many hauls these days just because I don't buy as much as I used to quite frankly. So this is a bit of a random haul and there's not loads of stuff in it but I thought I would share with you just because people like the haul videos. So I have stuff from Hobbycraft, stuff from Hey Little Magpie and stuff from Craft Stash. So Hobbycraft, I happened to just uh, go on the website looking to see if they had something in stock and they had a couple of things that I've been after that were on sale really, really cheap and I had a 20% off code which took off the sale prices as well. Sometimes their codes don't, like if it's on sale, it doesn't take off those prices, but it did. So I got a lot of this stuff for an absolute bargain. The first bargain? Bargain. Anyways, the first thing I picked up is this first edition 12 by 12 Forever Free album. I'm actually in need of two more albums, but for some reason this one was reduced to £7, I think, or something like ridiculous like that. And then I got 20% off on top of that and I just, I love Forever Free. It's one of my favourite first edition collections. And as I said, I am in need of some more 12 by 12 albums. So I picked this one up. The first edition ones are Postbound album so they're not honest d-rings are the ideal but they can be so so expensive so i stick with postbound these days and obviously the first edition ones are so pretty as well these guys just sort of fell into my online shopping basket they are maggie holmes thickers from not her latest collection but the one before for that I think or even the one before that it might be Willow Lane it might not but I just thought they were pretty I love me some gold thickers and I like the gold and white combo on these and I like the font and as I said they're on sale so I just picked them up because I like me some gold thickers they also had some oxides on sale for I think they were four pound each and then obviously the 20 percent off on top of that which is pretty good for oxides don't don't think i've ever bought oxides from hobbycraft before because i think they are overpriced when they're full price and even if they have three for two it still doesn't work out as cheap as getting them from craft stash or something but anyways just a couple of colors that i didn't have already and i think generally quite good for like more vintagey junk journaly things so i got walnut stain forest moths and peel paint i have done swatches of them on my little swatch sheet here so where are we there's peeled paint there's forest moss and where's there is walnut stain there so my oxide drawer i think has two spaces left so it's which of these ones to get you can see it's all it's the ready orangey tones that i don't have many of because i don't really use those in crafting but I just just think for completionism I just want to get those last two to fill up the drawer so any suggestions on which of the empty spaces you think I should get then do let me know but as I said all my spaces are in the red and orange tones and I don't use those colours anyways but yes I got those and finally I picked up this project life set again it was on sale and then the 20% off on top of that I can't remember offhand how much that worked out as but it was pretty cheap now this is the maggie holmes flip chasing dreams it says it right there maggie holmes chasing dreams project life kit i don't actually do project life but i do use the cards a lot in journaling and stuff and i love me some maggie holmes so because it was so cheap i just thought i would pick it up i won't go through everything in detail because there's obviously quite a lot of designs in here but just to give you an idea of the kind of thing that's in this. I love the yellow roses. And then all of these are double-sided as well. I think I like the B sides in general more than I like the A sides of these. Like that one with the faux stitched edge. That is really, really my thing. So that is one pile. Then this one, again, not going through in detail. That's cute though. Um, just to give you an idea. Oh, that flower pattern. I love that so so much and then with the b-sides again i just i think i prefer the b-sides they're slightly more toned down i would say have that slightly more vintagey pastely vibe that i you know just prefer in general and then we'll go to the uh, four by sixes if i can get them out these are quite hard to sift through actually because they're much bigger just to give you an idea those have to say some of the four by sixes aren't 
aren't doing it for me as much as some of the other ones. I think I'm upside down as well. You are all together lovely, that's quite sweet. You are what dreams are made of. And then again, I just pile these up again. And we can look at the B-sides. B-sides are generally more functional, which is what I prefer for what I use journaling cards for, for just you know, tip-ins and journaling spots and stuff like that. So yes, that is the Chasing Dreams Project Life collection. And that is everything I got from Hobbycraft. Then just a few bits from Hey Little Magpie. Um, a lot of this is just um, to complete my Indigo and Ivy Pink Paisley collection because when I first ordered from Hey Little Magpie there were a couple of the bits of the collection that they didn't have and then they had it so I've got those as well. So these are the rub-ons. I don't know how well you can see these. These are quite muted. Oh look, there we go. They're on the back there. You can see them better there. I do love rub-ons. I've got a bit of an obsession with them at the moment so I just had to pick these up and then these gold alphas as well they are so pretty I am mildly annoyed they're not double-sided because you know they're not cheap not blaming hey little magpie of course that's down to pink paisley but you know double-sided wouldn't have hurt would it but they are very very pretty I love the font and again gold yay then these stickers are from the new One Canoe Two Willow collection, I think it is called. And I love me some phrase stickers because I'm terrible at thinking up titles in general. So I love the, like the ready-made ones. So they're in a sort of rose gold and a blush foam, I suppose you could call that. We've got refresh, slow down, dream, be and kind. And obviously like little flourishes and stuff. Uh, let go, rest up, simple pleasures, be still and happy. And then everything else is papers. So most of the papers are Indigo and Ivy ones, either ones that, that Hey Little Magpie didn't have when I first ordered this collection or ones that I think I might want an extra of. So one is paper one. This is the one I've really been waiting for, the tags cut apart sheet. I just, I needed it so, so much. Like I felt like I couldn't even work with this collection until I had this paper, which I know sounds ridiculous, but that's the way my mind works. But I just, I love this and the colours on here are gorgeous. And then the B side is very, very pretty. Of course, I do like it a lot, but I definitely bought it for these tags. Paper two, I don't think I had this one before, but I genuinely can't remember. Really beautiful navy watercolor florals on a white background i love love it but then there's also a blue wood grain on that side as well so maybe i already had this one and bought a second one i just don't remember i should have checked before i started filming anyway paper number three it's got this sort of like i don't know what you would call it it almost looks like a carpet or a rug or something but I'm pretty sure I already have this one. Yeah, I wanted more butterflies, especially for fussy cutting purposes. Then paper 10, I bought two of these just because I love both sides. The A side is the feathers, which obviously I really want to fussy cut for embellishments. And then the B side is this lovely stripe with a textured effect on there. And I thought that would make a beautiful background. So yes, two of those. And then paper number 12 is this really pretty green. There's like a diamond print on here, but it's also stripes and it's also just all the lovely shades of blue and green. This is just like all my favourite colours. I love it. And then a really fun stripe on the back. Is, it, I don't know, is that a full rainbow? It's like rainbow-esque. It's sort of like instead of yellow, you've kind of got the mustardy colour. But yeah, I think it is so pretty. And then I also picked up two vellum speciality papers. This one is from that same Willow Connect collection by One Canoe Two. Just look how pretty those vellum butterflies are. I probably will fussy cut them. I just, I just, so pretty. A foiled vellum and I'm just, oh, yes. And then Vicky Bootin, oh, what's the name of the new collection? Is it Wildflower and Honey? Maybe something like that. But again, look, beautiful foiled butterflies on vellum. I very much needed this one as well. And once you've fussy cut all those, even though it is obviously a bit of work, you've got like a full embellishment pack basically. So I feel like you get your money's worth out of these. And then last up is stuff from Craft Stash. Just start off with some boring things. I got two things of the tonic tacky glue because 
it's my favourite tacky glue and the range have stopped doing it or at least my local store have stopped doing it so I have to order it from Craft Stash and I have to do it when you know it's worth enough to get free postage and everything so I picked up two to keep me going for a while and then also because this was like 50p I thought I would try them out they're just um you know little foam squares um, but they're slightly thicker than the ones I've already got so I thought I would just give them a try admittedly I thought it might be a bigger sheet than this but I suppose for 50 something p you can't complain too much and then I got many many inks so because most of my inks are distress oxides and I've got some other ones which are like cheap hobby craft ones but my favorite inks for stamping are stays on really I just love stays on and I just have a black and a very very dark grey so I thought I would pick up some more alcohol based archival inks for stamping especially in junk journals so I've got stays on in dove grey and timber brown and then I also picked up some ranger archival ink which is pretty much the same thing as stays on I got the sepia the peat moss and the cobalt as well and I'm tell you what I will just stamp some swatches of these so you can see the colours properly. Okay then so this is my swatch page of basically all non-distress oxide inks although I do think I have some that I haven't swatched on here. Anyway it's full now um, so there is the stays on dove grey the timber brown and then the archival inks oh I haven't filled those in hang on Whew, that's better so archival sepia peat moss and cobalt down at the bottom there they haven't stamped great on this paper because this is just like cheap printer paper really I do need to do the swatches on cardstock like I did with my distress oxide so I'll probably have to redo this at some point but you can get a good idea of the colors there very sort of like muted vintagey tones which is really really what I wanted I wanted a lighter gray as well for like particular mixed media projects because you can see the stays on stone grey up there is very very dark grey so yes I'm very happy with my choices here and then finally from craft stash I got some of the new or newish Nouveau dream drops just because I am a Nouveau drops obsessed person and I just have to try out every new type of drops that they bring out the only ones I had think I haven't got are the glow in the dark ones because I haven't found anywhere that sells the glow in the dark ones at least for a reasonable price so I'm still looking out for those so with the dream drops I got uh, gold lux because gold is just one of the colors I use all all the time so I always get a gold if it's a new style of nouveau drop and then this one I got is a fairy wings and I just thought it looked really really pretty on the website so I have done a swatch of these but it's not dry yet so it may not be showing you exactly what they'll look like properly when dry because I only did these like 10 minutes ago so whoops but you can just see that is the gold up the top there they've got this sort of shiny iridescenty character to them and I have seen people like smush them around and use them more as like pastes and just like, like color little bits and stuff let's I don't know let's be brave and do one of these well that is quite pretty there and it kind of almost changes color but there is a very iridescent effect to that as well so those are very very pretty I like those and there we go that is it so as I said a very very small haul but I thought I'd share it with you anyway I will leave links down in the description box to all of these items where available just as a disclaimer I have no affiliation whatsoever to Hobbycraft or to Hey Little Magpie but I am a Craft Stash affiliate in that I have affiliate links to their website so if you do purchase from those links I get a wee teeny teeny tiny percentage and no extra cost it just helps keep me going keep my channel going and stuff like that but I thought I'd just let you all know for anyone who didn't know already just you know for the sake of being completely transparent and stuff but obviously Craft Stash is a website that I order from myself so it's definitely one that I trust and use and recommend so anyways just thought I would add that in so yep that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I need to figure out where the heck I'm going to store these inks because my ink storage is um, full. So I'm going to have to do some rearranging there. But yes, okay, I'm going to go. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Chat to me in the comments. Let me know what your favourite items are. And yeah, okay, going. Thanks again.